Najib Razak nodded off again today as the court heard about Putra Pradana construction and its subsidiaries, all of which are linked to fugitive businessman Lo Teg Jo or Jo Lo. Why did SRC transfer money to this company? And why then did this company give money to Najib? These questions remain unanswered as the trial entered the 15th day. By the Malaysian Insight, this is The People vs. Najib Razak. Follow us into the courtroom where it all happens. I'm Patrick Teo. Najib, in a grey pinstriped suit and matching tie, arrived in Justice Muhammad Nazlan Muhammad Ghazali's courtroom at 9am on the dot. While waiting for proceedings to start, he sat in the public gallery, chatting with a friend. For a while, he was also tilting his head left to right. Once court started, he went into the dock where his two cushions waited for him. KWAP's Amirul Imran Ahmad was back in the stand for the fourth day in a row. He was the retirement fund's former vice president of the fixed income department. Defence lawyer Harvinderjit Singh, or Harvey, was not done going through his witness statement. Yesterday, after being prodded for hours by Harvey, Amiro got snappy and started answering the questions sarcastically. It was not any different this morning. From the get-go, things were heated between Harvey and Amiro. Let's hear more from Ray. SRC received two 2 billion ringgit loans from KWAP under government guarantee. Today, Harvey asked Amiro about the second loan in 2012. This loan was the one the government asked to be disbursed first, with the guarantee letter to follow 10 days later. Amirul was shown a letter from the cabinet and Harvey suggested that this indicated that the guarantee was already in place before it was approved. Amirul disagreed but couldn't explain further when Harvey cut him off. The terms of the loan stated that the money can only be used by SRC for working capital and to invest in natural resources. But over the past two weeks of trial, we found out from multiple witnesses that the funds went into paying for house renovations, political parties, media monitoring and more. So when Harvey asked Amiro whether it was possible to trace what the money was used for, the witness sarcastically answered that it was, but it wasn't his job. Court then took a 10 minute break and Najib went out for some fresh air. Amiro was let go after that. When court resumed, Najib was back in the dock, expressionless. Sometimes he propped his elbow up on the dock, head leaning against his hand. Bank Nagara investigating officer Ahmad Farhan Sarifuddin was back again today. He was the prosecution's fourth witness. On day four of the trial, he was questioned about the documents seized from the Ambank raid on July 6, 2015. Farhan's investigation saw the bank being fined for failing to report transactions in Najib's accounts. Lead Defence Counsel Shafi Abdullah cross-examined him today. Back to Ray. Shafi suggested that had M-Bank reported the suspicious transactions, then Najib would have been alerted and he could have protected himself, implying his client is a victim. Farhan responded, I have no idea. There's also a provision in the Anti-Money Laundering Act that prohibits such warnings. Najib was paying close attention to the exchange, sometimes laughing at Farhan's response. Meanwhile, Farhan was getting irritated with Shafi'i's line of questioning. It got even worse when Hari took over questioning. He kept using the wrong terms and mixing up Farhan's words. At one point, Farhan got so exasperated, he broke out his schoolteacher voice and reprimanded Hari, my learned counsel. This made everyone in the courtroom laugh, including the usually state Judge Muhammad Nazlan. After Harvey was finally done, court took another short break. <laughs> Halija Abdul Wahad, the prosecution's 31st witness, was up next. She is the assistant manager 
at Maybank's KL branch. From her, we learn about the money movements in Putra Pradhana Construction. Putra Pradhana Construction is a property developer with an account in Maybank ending with 7183. It has two subsidiaries. One was Purmai Binaraya with an account ending in 2754. The other was Putra Pradhana Development with an account ending with 6000. All these companies are linked to fugitive businessman Lo Tech Joe or Joe Lo. When Halija took the stand, it was already the afternoon. Najib would drift in and out of sleep and wake up with a start, looking around to see if anyone in the courtroom saw him dozing off. Soon, the judge allowed for a 30-minute prayer break. After the break, Halija was back to go over more of the transactions between Putra Pradhana Construction and its subsidiaries. To make things easier, we shortened the names of the companies Putra Pradhana Construction, the main one is PPC. Its subsidiary, Putra Pradhana Development, is PPD. Purmai Binaraya remains. Ravin will explain it all in detail. All the companies sound like they are developers, but nobody really knows what they do. Permai Binaraya saw a lot of action. For a start, it received 34.99 million ringgit on July 8, 2014 from PPC. On the same day, it transferred 27 million ringgit out to Najib's 880 M-Bank account. This 27 million ringgit was subsequently transferred back to Permai Binaraya in December 2014. On January 7, 2015, Pramai received a further 3 million ringgit from its parent company. On the same day, it transferred 30 million ringgit to SRC. Pramai Binaraya also transferred 5 million ringgit to PPD on July 14, 2014. On the same day, PPD also received 105 million ringgit from its parent company and a further 30 million ringgit on August 11, 2014. Halija also verified that PPC had transferred 140 million ringgit to SRC's 650 account in M-Bank on December 12, 2014. On the same day, PPD moved 110 million ringgit to PPC. Najib didn't pay much attention to Halija's testimony. He either looked at his phone or bent forward with his elbows on his knees. The dock is small, with just a hardwood bench. It doesn't allow for much movement or comfort. The prosecution ended their questioning at 3.30 p.m. Shafi will continue his cross-examination tomorrow when Halija brings more relevant documents pertaining to PPC and PPD. Court adjourned for the day to resume at 8.45 a.m. tomorrow. This podcast is produced, written and mixed by Revati Subramaniam, Yapik Kwan, Yvonne Lim and Ravin Palanisami. I'm Patrick Teo.